Hi everyone, today I'll be going over how to add a slideshow to your website. A slideshow is named as such because it displays a collection of images by scrolling through them automatically. A slideshow is great because it allows you to display many images in the same location without taking up extra space. This would be great, for example, with showcasing some food items for a restaurant website. So, we're here on our patisserie website and I'll be adding a slideshow to the menu page to showcase some of our tasty treats. I'll head over to the menu page now. So to do that, I can go up here to the top left to the menu section and I will just choose the menu page. Here you can see I have this image of a coffee cup. So I'll be deleting that and replacing it with the slideshow element. To delete an element, click on it and then go up here to the top right to the delete icon and click that. And now, to add a slideshow, I can go over to the Add section on the left. So this Add section here, I can click on that. And then I'm going to choose the Gallery category. And then you can see here we have our slideshow. So I can select one of these. You can choose one of these pre-built slideshows to add to your site. But don't worry, we can also customize it later. So I'm going to add this one. And you can see it's here on my mouse cursor. Now we can place our slideshow and size it out how we like. So I'll place this in the middle and I'll just make it a little bit bigger and a little bit wider. That looks good. So if we select the slideshow, we can go over here and choose manage images. And this will take us to a menu where we can select what images will be displayed in the slideshow. Also in this menu, we can rearrange the order the images will be displayed in. So, I don't want to use any of these images, so I can just hit X on all of them. And then I can go to Add Image. And then I'm going to be using some of our stock images in this slideshow. So, I'll choose some images to be displayed in our slideshow now. So I'm going to be using all of these images. We can also, like I said, customize the order of the images in the slideshow. So I can click and drag and move these images around in what order I want them to be displayed. After that, I can go ahead and hit Done. We can also customize some of the stylistic elements of the slideshow as well. We can head back to this box and we can choose a new design for the slideshow. So if I click this, you can see that I can select from different designs for the slideshow element or I can change the layout. So I could choose a different layout design, such as having captions displayed. I could also choose the different layout effects, such as the slide interval, which is how long it takes to go from one image to the next. So if I bump that down to two seconds, you can see that reflected here. I'll put it back to five. We can also customize the style, such as adding a border, or a shadow. And we can also customize the font that will be displayed should we choose to have captions. And that was just a basic overview of the slideshow element. Stay tuned for more videos right here on the website.com YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.